coming live from an Airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. And welcome to the show. Today we're going to pitch a tent at Broken Bow Lake and do a little glamping. I'm Brent. And I am Harley. So, it's raining like my grandma would say it's raining like cows peeing on a flat rock out there. It's literally supposed to rain until 2 o'clock in the morning. That's yeah. a long time. It's it's a a good sign. Of what? Growth? Things, things are greening up? I don't like that, though. I don't, I'm not a fan, like I've said. I hate to say it. There are a lot of things I'm a fan of. Spring, I can deal. But when it rains, then the sun comes out, and it's 120% humidity. Not yet, it's not. But it's I can feel it. You know, it, having kids now, I've got to get into the spring fling swing, and I just don't know. <sighs> Sitting outside on a blanket's nice, but when it gets hot, the shade isn't even cool enough. And it doesn't matter what time of year. The humidity kills everything. Dude, you and this humidity thing. It's, I, you know what? We live in a state no, where it's a dry don't. heat. It's, no. a, it's a humid heat. Yes. No, dude. We both just need to lose weight. That's true. Skinny people don't complain about the humidity in Oklahoma. They don't. I've never heard a skinny person complain about anything besides rock climbing and how hard it is and how fun it is, but how hard it is. You're right. I've got to stop drinking 2,000 calorie caramel macchiatos. Yes, you do. Oh, no, 7,000 calorie. Well, anyway, we've got something we can both get into coming up next. Remember the movie American Psycho? I d- I don't Vaguely. Know. Yeah, no, okay. I, I have no idea where you're going with this. Well, they have an iconic scene, and they're they're all stock traders, and this is the nineteen the late 1980s, and they're all comparing business cards. Mine's on the, I don't know, whale tusk with the embossed lettering and the <laughs> gold leaf... The, Oh, yeah, well, mine's on double-layered, uh, extra puffy sidewalk paper. I don't know. Sidewalk paper? <laughs> business cards, people forget. Business cards, is a, it's a huge currency. It really is. If it, you know, one of the things that bothers me, or that I, I have a real difficulty with, what? is when I hand out one of my business cards, yeah. and I get another business card in exchange for it. And it's not as good? No, and their business card has like that that code on it oh that your phone can read i don't even know what those are called the, i think it's called a qr code yeah you don't have one of those you got to get on board man we don't have one of those oh i thought you were talking about you like, no our business cards do not have those we don't have them but i'll tell you who can get them for you master threads they don't do this they're master threads they're masters of industry they do it all They could probably put a QR code on a hat, but (laughs) they do specialty business cards, too. They do indeed do specialty business cards, and that is definitely something that we need to refresh. Yes, we do. During our next order to Master Threads, Mm -hmm. we're going to be sending business to them nonstop. Constantly. And if you need specialty cards, all you have to do is give them a call, 405-673-3787. Or you can get that quote directly off the interwebs at masterthreads.us. And I'm pretty sure they don't have sidewalk paper. You could ask. So let's talk tents. I'm still trying to get over where I got sidewalk paper. I have no idea. I don't know it where. It literally I just, made no, it no sense to me at all. It makes zero sense. But, I mean, if it's not a thing, maybe somebody will make it a thing. Maybe. But you're, I'll tell you something that I never thought would be a thing. Glamping. You know... I I'm with you. I I would have never thought that you could make camping glamorous. Not even glamorous, just upscale. Yeah, you know, we come from the Coleman stove era, the mustard yellow tent with the one ply sleeping bag, no pillow generation where you could still feel the rocks even inside of the sleeping bag. Like the 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 gods of camping must be rolling over in their pup tents. I did a lot of camping. I mean, I've done a lot of camping, and even as a child, I don't remember ever having a sleeping bag that Mm-mm. didn't have a hole at the feet. I the only sleeping bag I remember was a Tom and Jerry sleeping bag, and then I also remember one time sleeping in a bar ditch. It's a long story. 
Well, the place that we're talking about today, yeah. there are no holes in the sleeping bags <laughs> because there are no sleeping bags. No. Dude, this place is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's called Bell Tents. Yeah. And, dude, I don't even know how to begin how gorgeous the actual tents are. Okay, so we've been to Broken Bow. I think a lot of people have been to Broken Bow. In fact, we're friends with Broken Bow Cabins down there. I only ever really think, when I think Broken Bow, I, man, I don't think I'm in the, the minority here. I usually only think the cabins. Right. And and some of those can those go way up in price. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But you can get a, a very similar experience with the views mm -hmm. at, at a place like Bell Tents. Uh, of course, Broken Bow is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And no matter what you do in Broken Bow, you're you're going to create some long-lasting memories. You're going to have a good time, and everything is picturesque. You know, when, the first time I ever went down to that area, I passed a logging truck, and I immediately thought of Final Destination. But before that, I you don't realize, when you get into the southeastern Oklahoma, I think that's when you really, it takes a while to, to wrap your head around the fact that Oklahoma's geographical landscape Broken Bow area is a prime example of, it looks like something out of Washington State, Oregon. It doesn't, it's just, you know what I mean? Once you hit that area, you feel like you literally went through some type of a interdimensional portal. Am I wrong? No, absolutely. And I think that's one of the nice things about Oklahoma is we have just about every uh, ecological environment. Oh, yeah. Like almost every single one. And... The diversity of services yeah. and industry that have popped up around the tourism in our state mm -hmm. is really impressive. Well, and this, you know, you kind of, we've jokingly talked about glamping in the past, but Bell Tents, I mean, they really have brought it. I mean, I looked at pictures of that and I thought, is this, I'm not that this isn't a real thing. Obviously it is, but I was looking at that thinking, what a genius idea. Yeah, again, this is one of those things where we can't really do it justice no. as far as defining how gorgeous this all looks. But these tents are actually up on platforms, so you're not on the ground. Mm -hmm. They have three beds in each one of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll sleep up to four. Uh, but they're, they're on these platforms with safety rails, safety gates. They've got wooden bridges connecting you to the restroom facilities. It's all picturesque, right. which makes it fit into the environment that they're mm -hmm. in really well. Well, and you say fitting into the environment. Color-wise, when you think of their, their color palette, it's light, light greens, whites, very kind of neutral, muted colors, not anything that's like, psh, you know what I mean? It's right. not like there's not a neon sign that says vacancy. You know what I mean? It It's very serene. It's very quiet. You're in literally in the middle of some of the most beautifully wooded areas in Oklahoma. One of the things that's super impressive is the way these things are lit at night. Oh, yeah. Dude, it looks like something out of a dream. Yeah, it's it, it's not bright. It's just almost kind of, when you think of a night, like a night light, just enough light to where you can still kind of not fall off the, <laughs> fall off the bridge, but just enough that it's just, it's relaxing. It's, again, a certain... They so, almost look like glow-in-the-dark teepees or something. Right. Or they're like a, I don't know, a lightning bug house or something. You know what I mean? Right. So the the nice thing about the way they've got these set up, the tent is shaded for most of the day. Mm -hmm. They They're open. Yeah. It's hard to explain this. They're open, but they, they're closed off at the same time. So mm -hmm. they allow for breezes and stuff like that. They allow for the breeze without the bugs. They've got bug netting. And like I said, they're set up to sleep four comfortably. It has mm -hmm. a queen size bed and two twins. Yeah. So again, you know, this could be a family excursion, mm -hmm. or you could you and the the wife can have a nice secluded date well, in you, the and, woods. Well, yeah. And I was you looking at the beds again. An idea like this, the concept being camping, glamping, whatever you call it, they could have easily kind of chintzed down and got just a couple of cheapo. El Cheapo looking beds. When you look at the beds, they look like you just, you would land on it and just sink into a cloud. Right. They all look comfortable. Uh, and the other thing I like is they're waterproof. So you're not going to have to worry about rain leaking through or anything. 
Well, and that's one of the problems that you'll have if you're trying to get your spouse to go camping yeah. and they're not an outdoorsy type person mm -hmm. is you give up all of the amenities. Like, right. you want me to go sleep in the dirt. Right. I have no bathroom. I have to pee in the woods. And I have arthritis. You know, in the dark, <laughs> what am I going to do at, you know, at two o'clock in the morning when I have the urge to go to the restroom? Right. Well, you know, I'm going to trip on a stump and hit my head on something and probably get bit by a bug on my butt trying to go to the bathroom at 2 a.m. You have none of those problems. Right. It go, okay, so go down the list of the amenities because you know there are going to people will be like, well, yeah, I see what you're saying, but what what do they offer? So first and foremost, electricity. That is that is a rare commodity when, when you're camping. Yes. You remember the pump lanterns that kind of, when you got them lit up and you had to replace the little silk or whatever, the little, you know what I'm talking about. I know about. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. The Coleman lanterns. The Coleman lanterns. None of that. I still have one of those in a... Somewhere. Box somewhere. Oh, yeah. They've got electricity. So at night, you can turn on your lights and walk down the lighted pathway to the restroom. Oh, that's unheard of. Right. Water. Again, linens, pillows, no sleeping bags, mm -hmm. no laying on the dirt. Right. They've got fans, mosquito nets. They've got fire pit. You can sit out till midnight. Oh, man, that sounds so refreshing. Looking honestly. at the views. Yeah. With the fire going, make s'mores, um, get showers, bathrooms. It's all wheelchair accessible. Right. Dude, it's amazing. So far, you haven't listed anything that would give any... I can't see anyone having... Well, what about... I mean, you've checked all the boxes, all the excuses why not. Right. Well, it, would it, how am I going to do Got it. Exactly. I mean, other than Wi-Fi, which I'm not 100% sure right. they don't have Wi-Fi, but other than that... I hope they don't. Yeah, I do too. Like, I mean... I mean, honestly, you're at Broken Bow Lake. Mm -hmm. That place looks like it's straight out of postcard. Right. And there's so much stuff to do. Get the hell off your laptop. Absolutely. Tons of fishing. People go to Broken Bow. It's a destination for fishing. They also do a lot of scuba diving down there yeah, as well. Yeah, the water is crystal clear. Oh, yeah, it's crystal clear. It's perfect. So a lot of other activities in the general vicinity, swimming, obviously, biking, kayaking, mm -hmm. canoeing, which I know is not your it's, your gig. It may be again. I think I'm, I'm don't call it a comeback. Hello, Cool J. But I may be... You may be knocking me out of a canoe sometime in our future. <laughs> Me and my brood of 12 children, yes. You can also, sailing, boating, is, and then obviously the wildlife. And ladies, if you like it, I know there's a winery or two down that way. There's got to be. Dude, there's a ton of stuff to do just in the general vicinity. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't see going out here for any reason other than to enjoy nature. Yes. We've debunked every excuse you've ha you have, ladies. And maybe there's some guys out there, too, that have some reservations about camping. I know I, st I can't get, get as low to the ground anymore without having trouble getting up. So, hell, this might be just a hell. I mean, it's not even that expensive. Dude, it's super cheap. You're talking like 150 a night? That's not bad at all. And I mean that's that's on average. I'm sure it adjusts different times of the year right. or whatever. But that, it's not bad at all. And again, it's a perfect opportunity to get that apprehensive spouse mm -hmm. to take the first step towards exploring the outdoors. With fresh you. air, fresh views away from society. Really okay, but along the society portion, there's a little bit of a catch with the bathrooms. You do have to share with one another tent, right? You do have it's it's one bathroom per two tents, right? So if they're both booked up, you might have to wait your turn to go to the restroom. Ooh, see, I don't know about that. I I don't but know how to feel about it. You're in the middle of the woods, you are so the if middle. you need to go to the restroom, what happens, you can find a bush. What right, happens in the woods literally stays in the woods as long as you cover it up with leaves. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we'll put a link. To the website mm -hmm. to reserve the bell tents if you are so inclined in the show notes. I absolutely think for a hundred fifty dollars a night to do something completely unique. Hell, you know what? One of my favorite trips to anywhere is that part of Oklahoma. There's so many things to see, so many things, to, so many things to stop and check out along the way before you even get there. But for a hundred fifty a night, I don't know. I really don't know. I'd be hard pressed to think. There's much else you can do that unique. This 
close to home, really. Not only that unique, but memorable. I don't oh, think yeah. this is a. I don't think this is a trip that you easily forget. No, I don't either. Uh, and I'll tell you what else you're not going to easily forget: the Only in OK show. We have new episodes every week. You got to check us out. Tell everybody. Tell your mom. This has been the Only in OK show. I'm Harley. And I'm Brett. And we're out of here. Peace. Three, two, one, and welcome to the show. You weren't even ready. Three, two, one, I was ready. No, I'm not ready. Well, what's wrong with you? So if you had somebody that when you walked in the door and they said, He hails from Chickasha, Oklahoma. Harley coming down. I would 100% be prepared for a fight at that moment in time. Would you be ready? To, I mean, I did that to like, four people today. I'd be like... Who the hell am I fighting? Because you broke your butthole in the war. No, it just it does something to me, man. It makes me feel like I've got, got like, water. The, the flu. Yeah. God dang it. No, I... D- I'm burning on fumes, okay? Running high, Running into the sun, but I'm running high. 69, I was 17. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just running no Running back Up with the sun, I'm gone with the wind She always said I was lazy I have no complaints Leaving my home, leaving my friends Running with shit seems too crazy dude, Traveling man is the, the jam, dude Yeah, it is Because those are the memories that make me a, was it, a healthy... A wealthy soul. Yes. Cause I don't remember being a wealthy soul. Dang. Makes me want to get in the car and drive to more. Tra- <laughs> travel. I want to travel the state. And by that, I mean the interstate. <laughs> so I have some family. Love them to death. But they go on vacation. And I get it. You know, you spend all your time here. They went to Fayetteville. Cool. But I'm thinking, man, there's so many cool things here. Like, literally, right before you pass that Arkansas-Oklahoma border. You're hitting all of it. Like, you just passed all the cool stuff. All the cool shit. I won't name who they are, but their last name is the opposite of a brush. Combs. I'm just kidding. Uh, it is Combs. Are you in a hurry? No. No, you are. No, you are. You, you are. are. You're like, go, oh, man. I've been up since three thirty. I've hit a wall already. I haven't hit a wall. I hit the wall, bounced off, and went. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I freaking ricocheted, man. I ain't, every time I come now, just know, just know that I stop at the freaking Duncan in at Love's in the by the casino, mm-hmm. by the casino to get a caramel mochiato. These things are bomb. Yeah, there's probably like seven thousand calories in that drink. It's fine. I needed it today. Dude, I, I walked 15,000 steps today. Lay off me. All right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.